These are the remnants of a civil war that divided the Mediterranean island of Cyprus about 40 years ago. It's a creepy fucking border called the Green Zone and it literally cuts the capital city Nicosia as well as the whole island in half. These days it is only populated by street cats and lazy soldiers that walk the whole thing up and down all day with little purpose because I seriously doubt at this point that anything ever happens around here. You're basically looking at a living example of perhaps the longest conflict in history. The Greeks and the Turks. They're like brothers with inflated egos that are too proud to talk about their feelings and admit that they're actually quite similar. They've been fighting since their conception and by now it feels like they're doing it out of principle. Be it about who gets all those funny little islands in the Mediterranean, natural gas deposits or who invented fucking yogurt. And poor little Cyprus is caught in the middle. This island was always destined to become a proxy battleground and as a result it is divided between Greeks and Turks. Boy oh boy, it's a long story. And I'm gonna attempt to tell it by trash traveling this odd little country that occupies the north of Cyprus. A country that technically doesn't even exist. So join me on a ride through the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Basically follow me wherever I go. Oh man. arrived to the laziest island in the Mediterranean so it's just about Christmas over and I guess that's what they associate with Christmas nutcracker I don't know what what the thing is to be honest anyway it's basically spring in Cyprus it's like 18 degrees while the rest of Europe is freezing in winter We're unmistakably on the Greek side That's the green zone Lots of barbed wire
Now this used to be the innovation center. I have an idea for innovation. How about reunification? I dreamt about the other side so many fucking times. Like in, a, in my actual dreams, it wasn't even intentionally. My unconscious already wandered over the green zone onto the Turkish side. And I'm so excited to see what it looks like. Uh, time to switch sides. It's time to get Turkish. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, man. This is part of the green zone. Actually, you can film here. There's no signs that it's prohibited or anything. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, there's two checkpoints, one Greek, one Turkish, of course, and the Turkish people look very different to me, actually. They have big, nice mustaches. But yeah, I'm here. Everything's cheaper now. Mostly, when I take a flight early, I try not to sleep outside the first night, get some good sleep and a rest. So I book myself an accommodation, some kind of bed and breakfast. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. So I guess I need to get up. 26 is my room. Is it? Yeah. Oh, what a view. Incredible. I think that's mine. Man, perfect. It's like a prison cell. <laughs> but with a balcony. And actually the view, I like it. It's very authentic. Nice. I mean, for 20 euros, it's pretty bad, but... Hey, I'm up for it. <laughs> Me in my prison cell. Yeah. That's a good mirror to do coke on. And what I like especially is the dirty walls. It's incredible. Yeah, look at that. It's ah, authentic. There's no toilet paper. But I'm an experienced traveler. I got my own. Yeah, from back home. Double layered. To make ass wiping comfortable. Yeah. I'm fucked, I'm tired. So what I'm noticing right away is that none of the women wear headscarves. None of the women cover their head. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess this part of Turkey is much more liberal. <laughs> yep. This looks like a good place to eat. I'm 
Thank you in Turkish means teşekkürlerim. I think I probably butchered that word and the pronunciation, but it's a long word. Teşekkürlerim. <laughs> Man, I just love this place. It's full of cars and stinks metal. There's just men hanging around drinking tea and working and arguing and saying hello. And it's full of life. It's quite authentic. I think that's what uh, most Western countries have lost. Like these kind of places where you can just, where people just gather organically and, not, and where it doesn't seem like they're forced. The fact that this city is divided, of course, is very unfortunate, but at the same time, it's incredibly interesting because you have two different cities in one city. And I wouldn't say they're the same, actually, they have a very different feel to them. This one is more relaxed. There's not as much people in the cars, it's not as modern, but there's more vibe to it, I don't know. Or maybe it's just because I didn't know this part until today, but I mean, it does have its charm, right? I mean, come on, look at this. That's the that's Atatürk place, I think. The Atatürk Square, even though it's not a square because it's round, but yeah. There's the fountain. I should say Shazam that shit. It's catchy. Oh no, it's over. <laughs> Alright, let's go for another round. I've got my jacket, it's getting cold here. And I just found out the guy at the reception is a big metal fan. Oh, it's good to meet some metal fans. They're not that talkative, to be honest, but they do like to talk about Black Sabbath, so... Yeah, that's where I can get into their head. It's really eerie, this place. Let's see if there's something in the fridge. Oh, a mug. Hello, mug. Nothing in the mug. Bit of mold. Göz gözü görmüyor hep dos. Takip derler ses etmez sos. Bir vakit olmuştu beynim. Düzlükteyken bitmiş seyrim. Göz gözü görmüyor hep dos. Takip derler ses etmez sos. Durma git enerjini kos. Zaten çok soğuk etraf buz. Uh -uh. Fuck man, I'm finished with life. I guess. Do you want something? You want to eat the camera? I can't even begin to describe how tired I am. It's like 7 p.m. but this is it for me. I'm just gonna wake up very early tomorrow and sleep. Good night. Good 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 night, your head. There's a lot of street cats in Nicosia, by a lot, I mean a lot. And a friend of mine and me, we wrote the song back then actually, how the street cats were the only ones who could cross freely between the Turkish and the Greek side of Nicosia. It's a good song actually. Hot 
of Turkish cats Who cares, Malaka? We hunt with Turkish cats Who cares, Malaka? Squat the world Fuck yeah Fuck nations Squat the world Fuck yeah Fuck nations Let me shout Chalaya Oh, it's time to run Oh, let's make the city one Back in the 60s we lived in peace There was people in Farragos the streets Now there's only cats like you and me Now there's only cats like you and me We hunt with Turkish cats Who cares? Malaka. We hunt with Turkish cats Who cares, Malaka? Squat the world Fuck yeah, fuck nations Squat the world Fuck yeah, fuck nations ah, 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 ah. Malaka <laughs>